See that? That's a new gas tank for the four-wheeler. The one that's in it, I cleaned it out, but I never did properly seal it, so it's rusted again, and it keeps clogging up the carburetor. So with this new gas tank, plastic, it'll never clog the carburetor. But it still starts, runs. You don't believe me? Well, let's go see. Okay, now hold on to your hats because we're going to go down the hill. I normally go around the long way because it's not so steep. Now, I'm an old man and I don't walk so good these days. Still a little bit lightheaded, dizzy sometimes. But, you know, my family's been telling me I've been dizzy for a lot of years. So what's the difference? So we're coming down here to the, uh, this is the uh, Arterbury Annex. Name for my friends who supplied the tin. No lights yet. But watch this. See if it's going to do it. Push the button. Huh? I did start it this morning, so it's not a cold start. It still runs good. And once I get the gas tank cleaned, uh, not cleaned but replaced, oh, it's even hard to get the gas cap off. It's, it's, it gets rusted so bad. But once we get that on there, then we'll be good to go. And uh, I should finish cleaning up the plastic for the back end. And I have the luggage rack that goes on the back. Yeah, she'll be ready to use for the summer. So this, this is going to be my sign that will go on the front of the porch out here. I'm going to let it, and it will say Arterbury Annex. Yeah, they provided all the tin for the roof and the tin I used on the back wall and I still have some left over and that'll be getting used some of it on the porch roof and I have all these lights to put up in here they're old school but they are already been converted over to LED so that'll give me more than enough light in here there's one two three four one, two, three, four, actually five, because there's another one back there. Yeah. Five of them. So we'll spread them across, and probably I'll put one back here, right against the back wall. And, uh, yeah, that'll be good. we got plenty of room in here, and uh, we'll have more, because when the goofy cart comes out of the shop, it will be coming in here and I'm not sure which project we're going to do next if we're going to work on this bike motorizing it or if we're going to finish the Tennessee T trike it's going to get totally revamped uh, it's not working the way it is because it's way too low so we're going to jack it up in the back give us a little more clearance for riding around in my yard so there you have it beautiful day here in Tennessee it's uh, over 70 I think I had to take my hat off because I was getting so warm and I tried having the door open the back of the carport where I'd be working uh, but I had to close it because chickens kept wanting to come in there. And they still come in. They come in around the front, you know. They'll be heading in pretty soon. And this project here, I'm going to get the wheels swapped around on it. It'll go down in the addition, get it out of the weather. So that maybe that'll be the next project because I really, really need to get this engine put back together and put on there. Now what would really be cool, I have access 
to another Onan opposed twin. It has everything on it that I need to make this one run. But it has a thrown rod. As far as I could tell, this one would be fine if it had spark. So we're seeing about that. Maybe we'll put a pose twin in the old Cub Cadet over there. So that's the way it is today, Friday. What is it? March 28th, is that right? March 28th, I think it is. I've already got my calendar switched over to April because April starts on Monday and uh, yeah April Fools we call it well I'll be a fool for Christ whose fool are you gonna be bye now <laughs>